Good morning and welcome to this analytical corner. My name is Ruo Chen. I'm a senior economist in the European Department of the Fund. We are all in this difficult time. I wish you are healthy, work keeping your work, and hopefully work from your comfortable home. In Washington, D.C., the area I live, about half of the population can work remotely. Unfortunately, this is already the highest in the U.S. A large part of the population in the U.S. just cannot work remotely. This is also the case for the most part of the world. During the pandemic, people either have to work outside, be extremely careful, or they cannot work at all. The largest economic impact of the pandemic is that many people lost their jobs. That's why we see the U.S. unemployment rate reached all-time high of almost 15% in April. But in Germany, the country I work on, we see the unemployment rate reached only to 4% at the same time. Germany also suffered a sharp economic contraction due to the pandemic. The economy tanked by almost 10% in the second quarter. This is very similar to the U.S. But why do these two countries have such a different picture in terms of unemployment rate? This is the question brings me to this presentation today. But first, let me explain one type of social protection program called short-time work programs. They are state-sponsored work-sharing schemes aimed at preserving jobs. These programs allow employers who experience temporary job of production to reduce their employees' working time without firing them off. Employees typically receive a subsidy from the government that is proportional to their reduction of working, working hours. This subsidy helps stabilize workers' income and avoid precautionary saving, which would otherwise dampen the domestic demand and worsen the crisis unnecessarily. Such programs also bring benefit to firms. It enables companies to preserve firm-specific human capital and avoid the costly process of separation, rehiring, and training when economic condition improves. However, there are potential drawbacks of such programs. It may end up dampening the medium-term productivity growth if moral hazard-related issues delay structural reforms. The devil is in the details. Short-time work programs need to strike the right balance between preserving jobs during crisis and reduce labor market rigidity in the normal times. Kusabait, Germany's short-time work program, is designed to do just that. It is well, widely considered the gold standard of short-time work programs. It has been in fact for about a century and has often credit for the stellar performance of German labor market during the global financial crisis about 10 years ago. For the rest of the presentation, I want to explain the key design features of Kusabait and also explain its role in current crisis. First, Kusabait is attractive to employees on the reduced working hours, employees would receive 60% of net pay. And this rate of 60% is also called replacement rate. The replacement rate is about 67 for parents. Second, Kuzabite requires co-financing from firms. This helps contain fiscal cost. Firms have to pay 80% of social security contribution owned on the reduced working hours. In addition, Kuzabait complements existing private work sharing schemes. For example, the working time account, a common feature in German labor contract, allow workers to build up overtime balances when production demand are high and run down the balances when production demand are low without impact on their paychecks. Here is an example that shows how Kuzabait pr protects the workers' income and is less costly to the government. Suppose a firm has two workers working with labor cost of 5,000 euro each. The firm has to 
reduce label input by half? There are two options to do that. One, the firm can fire one worker. Or second, the each worker can receive a Kuzabyte subsidy of 50% working hour reduction. As the chart shows that in the case of Kuzabyte, not only the total income of the, these two workers are higher, but also the income inequality is lower. As firm continues to pay the social security contribution, the net revenue for the government is also higher in the case of Kuzabyte. The co-financing requirement to firms helps explain the low takeoff of Kuzabyte during normal times. It limits the moral hazard related issues. However, during deep recessions, the focus shifts towards preserving jobs. Therefore, all parameters can be adjusted temporarily to maximize schemes take up. The COVID-19 pandemic is having a big economic impact to the economy. Offers a textbook case of using short-time work programs. Because the pandemic is clearly an exogenous and hopefully temporary event, the concern on waiting medium-term productivity growth should be a less issue at current moment. On the contrary, it is important to preserve firms and household balance sheet. So the recovery can proceed as fast as possible when the pandemic link, uh, subsides. Therefore, short-time work program assistance preserved jobs should be preferred to other insurance mechanisms, such as unemployment benefit. The pandemic is having a much broader impact on the German economy than the global financial crisis, calling for adjustment of Kuzabyte. Indeed, the German government has introduced significant changes to the parameters of Kuzabyte at the beginning of the pandemic. The replacement rate has been increased and program cost to firms has been reduced. Here are some of the key changes. Workers facing more than 50% working hour reduction can receive up to 80% of net pay and 87% for parents. Firms can start to apply for Kuzabyte even 10% of workforce subject to reduced working hours. The threshold used to be one third. The requirement of social security contribution to be paid by the firms and running down working time account balances before using Kuzabyte were waived. Recently, the duration of Kuzabyte was extended to a maximum of 24 months. Kuzabyte already play an important role in preserving jobs. From March to May, more than a quarter of labor force applied for Kuzabyte. According to official estimate, the confirmed Kuzabyte workers reached 6 million in April with an average of 50% working hour reduction. Without Kuzabyte, the unemployment rate would have risen by additional seven percentage points to 11% in April. Kuzabyte's role and impact in median and long run will depend on duration of crisis. As the pandemic lingers on, it may have transformational impact on the economy. For example, home delivery substitute brick and mortar retails. Stay-at-home employees increasingly provide professional services. When the dust settles, Kuzabyte parameters may have to be tightened. To conclude, we're still in this pandemic. First and foremost, save lives and save jobs. Short-term work program is an option to do that. Given the nature and magnitude of such crisis, the program should be flexible, attractive to employers, and be generous to employees. If high fiscal cost is a concern, some co-financing from firms could be considered. When the dust is settles, the program parameters has to be changed to avoid prolonging unproductive matches. Thank you for your attention and look forward to our discussion.